lieutenant, a first lieutenant, I'm in combat at this time now, so mm -hmm. really fast forward. So I'm on my first combat tour, and I'm deployed with a unit that's predominantly all white mm -hmm. in a combat arms unit. And this is uh, a time I had to pull out, you know, a tool out of my kit bag to use in this situation. Mm -hmm. So I was called the N-word. Mm -hmm. I was called a nigger. Mm -hmm. I was told, I'm not going to follow this nigger in combat. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, what did you say? I, I'm not going to follow you in combat. I, I'm not going to follow a black man in combat. Wow. I said, it's fine. Hey, you you don't have to, because I could have just went off. I mean, things could have really went crazy. Mm -hmm. But I said, I'm not going to stoop to the level of ignorance. So I said, okay, you don't have to, to follow me in combat, but I'm sure the others will. So you're going to be the one that's going to be made an example. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, he uh, received an Article 15 and some other things. He was moved out of my unit. Uh, but I'm sure the reaction that they were expecting would have led to the result of not only him being moved out of the unit, mm. but I would have been moved out of the unit too, which also could have, you know, halted my next promotion Absolutely. Uh, that was coming up very soon. Uh, so that's one of the things that I share with my children, that when you find yourself in a situation, you don't have to always clap back or combat with retaliation mm. or come back in a sense where instead of that person being held accountable for their action of what they just did, now both of you are about mm. to be held accountable. So I always use